Hi, and welcome to Relationally Speaking with Lynn Haroff. This is sponsored by Strategic Advisor Board. I'm an award-winning author of the rom-com Miss Snickers, and I speak to groups on the topics of personality styles, all, all things related to personality styles, whether it be stress, interacting more effectively, team building, work-life balance, everything related to personality styles. I guess I just can't get enough of it. So, if that is something that's interesting to you, you can look at my website at lynnspeaks.com for more information. Also, there'll be links below that you can um, click on to get more information as well. So today, we're going to talk about observation. Yesterday was the why. Why are we here? Why are we wanting to talk about relationships and learn more about how to be more effective, basically? Well, observing is a skill, obviously, that can really help us to go a long way. And what I've noticed as I've watched people, is some people are more observant than others, and, and, and that we have different ways of observing as well. I want to talk about the two, a couple different ways of observing. There is the internal observation that you're in a situation and you look internally to see how you're doing with this situation, or are you having, um, are you comfortable? Are you having a bad reaction to something that's going on? It's being really in touch with yourself in a way. That's that's the type of one type of observation. And there's the other type of observation, which is looking at your surroundings. What are you aware of about your surroundings? Um, maybe you're a highly sensitive person and you walk into a room and you gather 15 units of information rather quickly, and maybe the other people are gathering five units of information. That's a different experience, and it's a different style and different um a different form of observing. So I'm curious, which form of observing are you more prone to? And would it help you to be um, strengthening or trying the other side? For example, if there's somebody that you're with and you're not sure what's going on with them, maybe you've been very observant of them and their style, their, their words, their tone and everything, check inside yourself and what what are you experiencing while you're with them and or vice versa so that's one area we can improve on is is strengthening those different areas i was thinking that the other day i went to see my mom and we were going to go do some errands and she's at um, an independent living place and while we were leaving her friends were saying oh see you later you're gonna miss bingo and and it started to occur to me wait a minute she's missing bingo now inside, I'm thinking, we got to go get these, these groceries. We've got to go get this stuff done. And then I stopped for a second to realize I was had a, a plan and I was thinking of what I need to get done and do. And I look outside myself more and I realize, oh, she's going to miss one of the favorite things she has every week. And that's bingo. Okay, mind you, it's three times a week. But still, my point is, I'm sure that meant a lot to her. So I stopped for a second and asked, do you not want to go right now? Do you want me to go do the errands and you stay for bingo? And oh my gosh, so cute and so quick, she says, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> and then that's how it went. And so I was on my way and she played bingo and probably won at least 50 cents. But anyway, my point being, sometimes we can go caught in ourselves and observing and sometimes we can caught outside or or not. Maybe we're not caught anywhere and we're just doing one thing or the other. But it helped me to get outside my hurried self and to see where she was at. And it made for a nicer afternoon, probably for both of us. So anyway, thanks for joining me. If you want to, um, if you have any questions, feel free to click in the links below. Please subscribe, comment, like, and let me know what you think about your observation style. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.